All right, class, a golden moment. Big Bob Benton was well known among the prospectors. They had all moved west to look for gold. They said that where Big Bob went, gold followed. When he heard that, Bob got annoyed. Real prospectors knew the gold did not follow anyone. You had to hunt for it, and it took a lot of hard work to find it. It also took a lot of luck. Sure, he had struck it rich three times, but he did not give up at the first disappointment, like a lot of other prospectors. Bob worked tirelessly on all of his gold claims. Other prospectors would start out with big plans to strike it rich and then quit when they didn't find gold after a few days. When Bob, but Bob always prepared to work the land hard when he started a claim. Now he was going out a fourth time and there were murmurings among the prospectors about wanting to follow him. People wanted to set up digging next to Bob's new claim. Bob was bound for the mountain slope, but he decided to take an exhausting route to get to his destination. He planned to lose and frustrate those who were following him. Bob altered his directions of travel this way and that for hours. As he started to cross a stream, a twig snapped behind some elder trees. Just then, Joe and Joe, the one prospector that Bob admired and respected, appeared from behind the trees. Howdy! Joe greeted Bob with an outstretched hand. Find any gold yet? Nope, Bob answered, wondering what Joe was doing there. Too bad, hope that you lead me right to it, bluffed Joe. I thought you were a better man than that, Bob replied. Just joking, Joe, to sure, Bob. That was a reference to the talk going around town. You know what people are saying about following you. I am a better man than that. I'm content to try my luck on the other side of the mountain. I'll leave this side to you. Happy hunting. Big Bob remained still until, still until Joe and Joe had vanished around a curve of the mountain. When he was sure he was alone again, he got back on his horse. He was about to continue when something caught his eye. Next to the stream, something as bright as the morning bright as the morning sunshine sparkled on the bank. He got off his horse, scooped up what appeared to be a pebble, and found himself holding a shiny gold nugget. Number 11. Now answer number 11 through 20 based on your answers on a gold moment. What message about human nature does this passage tell? People do not want to be taken advantage of. Most people naturally like to be left alone. People do not like to be made fun of. And most people do not trust others. Number 12, which word from the passage is a homograph for the word defined before? Remember, there's two definitions here. Definition of limit and on the way. Which word means be on the way? And which one means you have a limit? It's the same word for both of those definitions. Number 13, why does Big Bob become annoyed when the other prospectors say that gold follows him. It makes him sound greedy. It means that they are plotting to steal his gold. They are hinting that he will not find any gold again. Or they are ignoring the fact that he worked super hard to find his gold. Number 14. Which word from the passage means older? and is also the name of a small tree. Elder, murmurings, murmurings, prospector, or stream. Number 15, why did Big Bob take an exhausting route high into the mountains into his claim? His map is old and confusing. His horse is afraid of wild animals. 
He does not know where he is going, or he wants to make sure no one follows him. We'll read this sentence from the passage. Too bad. Hoped you'd lead me right to it. Bluffed, Joe. What is the definition that fits bluffed as it's used in the sentence above? To fool or mislead? To wear a blindfold? To hang from a cliff? To control somebody? What evidence from the text tells you why Big Bob is successful in finding gold? Sure, he had struck it rich three times. He worked tirely, tirelessly on all of his gold claims. People wanted to set up digging next to his new claim. Big Bob Benton was well known among the prospectors. Number 18. Which definition show which definition show possible means for the homograph content content? Is content information to tell of something? The item inside something or satisfied? To welcome an expression of good wishes? Or to connect two or more things? A partner or a friend. Number 19. What caused Bob to stop and find gold in the stream? Something shiny sparkled, and when Big Bob picked it up, it was a gold nugget. The sun got into Big Bob's eyes, and when he looked away, there were gold nuggets. The water in the, the, water in the stream sparkled, and Big Bob's horse wanted a drink. Something shiny sparkled, and then Big Bob saw a joking Joel by the stream. And number 20. Read this sentence from the passage. Next to the stream, something as bright as the morning sunshine sparkled on the bank. What does the simile as bright as the morning sunshine mean? Cheerful, early, shiny, smart. Alright guys, stay tuned for video number three for the essay. Do not skip the essay. Do not skip the essay.